Okay, sons, friends, I want you to experience with me a moment that for me is pure joy. This is the sound of joy for me right now. I'm gonna take this key, stick it in here and listen to this. Oh yeah. Sync has connected your phone and is reminding you. Um, I don't know much about engines, but that is the sound of a 5.0 V8 Ford Coyote engine. And it's in the truck that I wish I'd been able to give my daughter when she turned 16. So here I am, she's 19 now, she's in college and I've got a confession. <laughs> um, part of it's like this positive confession, this joyful confession and the other one is like, it's like a, it's a sad confession. My daughter, when she turned 16, uh, we, she had money that was given to her and we used some of that money to buy a $2,500 vehicle that had 310,000 miles on it. And the reason that we went that route is because the funds just weren't there to get another option. And when we prayed and we invited Bosley into, you know, this decision, and into this new stepping stone in her life, that's simply the vehicle that God provided. And as a father, I have to be honest about the comparison that I, that I put myself in with other fathers who provided better vehicles. One's like the one that, that I'm in right now. Just pick this up today. Um, but anyway, I just, what I want to suggest is that our pride can get in God's way in a way that I never really thought about before. Today, God is the hero of a great story that Bosley and I have been on. And he's my hero. I have a new vehicle. I'm going to uh, a new vehicle. Oh, you can't hardly see it. I'm out on the street. It's 11 o'clock at night, but I am as excited about being able to see my daughter in this fantastically well-kept eight-year-old vehicle as I am if I were buying a vehicle for myself. And I, on so many of occasions, could have robbed myself of the joy of seeing God come through and I could have robbed my daughter of the journey of seeing God provide for her. Truth be told, that 310,000 mile uh, 2005 Ford F-150, it was amazing. It just looked bad. It just, I felt like it reflected poorly on me, but my daughter got to show up uh, to school with the oldest truck, not the newest one, like like most kids are after, it's like the oldest one. And all along, we have been sharing a journey of watching God provide. And for God to give her a new truck is as much a joy and as much is as much of a journey for me as it is for her. So truth be told, back in 2000, whatever it was, 2003, when she turned 16 and we got her that truck, um, we were already looking for another truck. And I was so excited to wake up this morning and to pray and to see my heart after looking at so many months worth of Carfax vehicles and not finding anything, I'd kind of given up and I just thought, well, it's just time. Bosley's truck's getting old. I just need to go get her something better. And I felt God challenged me this morning. He said, no, this whole journey has been about you trusting me to bring the right thing, the standout, uh, an opportunity for me to shine. Are you giving up on that? And I, and I said, whoa, okay, forgive me. Okay, I want Jesus for you to re reveal to us a gift that we will 
not be able to take any credit for. And that's what we, that's what I found today. So I, I'm doing a lot of truth telling in this video. My daughter's purchasing half of this. She has saved. I'm so proud of her. She has saved and saved and saved. And so have I. And that has allowed us to come up on, come upon like a screaming deal on a truck that I would absolutely love to drive. This thing's amazing. I'm just so excited for her and I'm so excited for me and I'm so excited that God came through again. Like my pride, I'll say it again, could have stolen this moment so many times. But what we decided to do is wait and trust and say, Jesus, when the time is right, you will make us aware that it's time for us to look for the next one and and you're gonna be the hero of the story, and he is. So I'm sorry if that just felt really jumbled up, but that really is the message and the invitation of the adventures that I host with fathers and sons and fathers and daughters at First Tracks and First Bloom. The invitation's not to have tips and tricks for your kids because what our kids need from us as dads is to show them how to go on a journey of trusting the Father and seeing Him provide things that we can't provide for ourselves. You know, my pride as a father has gotten in the way so many times, but I'm learning that for God to be the hero of their story, I have to back off. I have to wait and I have to let Him come through and when he does that for them, he does it for me. Because my great fear is not being a good father. My great fear is not being able to provide for my kids. And truth be told, the gifts that he gives them when I wait and get out of the way are better than ones that I could ever have given them. So anyway, just I just wanted to share my joy with you and my, my journey with you and just the invitation where might you be letting pride get in the way with your kids? I know this may feel more applicable if you've got younger kids than if you've got older kids, but still, we want to be the hero. I want to be my daughter's hero. There's a big part of me on so many occasions wanted to go and lay down more money that I could afford to get a bigger truck than she needed. And I don't know that she, I, I can guarantee you this, she would not have appreciated me or God or her journey near as much without the waiting. Bless you guys. Bless you guys. Just want to remind you that being sons only exists through the generosity of, of you guys. And so I just appreciate your prayerful consideration of supporting being sons in the next year. We're just so deeply grateful to our partners and would love to invite any of you who've been on the journey with us to continue being on the journey with us. And for those of us, for those of you who have not, come and join us and um, we'll see what amazing things God has in store for his sons in 2024. All right, bless you guys. Have a great week and a great weekend.